You're listening to This Week in Property. Stay current, relevant and up to date in the world of property investment. Learn from the UK's leading property professionals and grow your property business. Hello and welcome to This Week in Property. I am your host Richard Swan and today's show it's a case of ask and ye shall receive. <laughs> yes, I have bent to your wishes, dear listeners. Many, many podcasts and throughout all of them, lots of lovely messages and direct messages and emails and so on. Really appreciate it. And one of the common threads that kept coming from the listeners is, Richard, what's this protege thing you keep talking about? Every now and again, you might mention or make a reference to ALG's training course called Property Protégé. And you've had uh, some people who have successfully went through it and now they're doing X, Y and Z within the property world. But what what is it all about? So that's what this does. Today, I am going to give you a peek behind the protégé curtain. Oh yes, because... January 2018, we have just finished the latest four-day protégé course for that month and a fantastic group of people, really busy, really full-on, intensive, absolutely fantastic. As ever, we, the team, just loved it to bits. But I thought, here's my chance. Here's my chance to respond to what so many listeners are asking me for. So at the very, very end, these <laughs> these poor people, they've been put through the mill <laughs> from start to finish. It's late on a Sunday night. They're trying to escape. <laughs> They're trying to get home. And uh, I grabbed them. I kidnapped them and took them away to uh, a little room, a little booth in the lovely fancy hotel that we were doing the course in. And uh, interviewed them all. Got them around like a, a talk panel show. And uh, just, you know, got their thoughts, real people from the course. Not just listen to Richard Swan, oh, the host of the podcast. I, oh, he's obviously going to say it's great. Okay, what if I grab some directors and stuff? Well, of course, they're going to say it's great, aren't they? But what about Joe Blogs and Jane Blogs? What about the people like me as a listener? I'm listening at the show because I'm trying to work out what I want to do in property. I'm interested in it. I'm listening to this podcast because I want to do some research, I want to do some background references, because I don't know where to start. Well, that's what these people are in. These people are in the same situations. Some people completely utter novices, some people accidental landlords, some people got two or three buy-to-lets under their belt, and, you know, they're just looking for more, they're looking to grow and expand. So I allowed them to tell you, in their own words, what it's all about. Who are they? Where are they from? What's their starting point? Why did they join Protégé? And, very importantly, how was it? (laughs) How do you feel after it? You've just came out of the gates. How was it? How challenging? What was the fun bits? What was the hardest bits? Anything that they wanted to talk about. So, without further ado, let's go and hear them. Right, I've grabbed them. I've kidnapped a team. Look at the faces. Oh my goodness. The fear, the trepidation, everything. This is magic. Listeners, we are in a nice wee booth. It's actually very wet outside in Glasgow, uh, but I've managed to kidnap some of the, the fantastic people that have been here for a protege event. And it's a behind the scenes. It's a kind of peek through the curtains that I wanted to do. That's, that's the kind of main reason, because there's loads of folk that get in touch. Uh, and they wonder, Why, what's this protege you keep mentioning? What does LG do? And I'm interested in property, that's why I follow the podcast, but I don't know if I can do property, I don't know, you know, I'm in this situation, etc. I want these real people. I've got a great privilege of being able to interview some of the top guys in the game, some of the best experts, and this tax expert and this estate agent. So that's great, that's brilliant. But for the most people in property, it's actually just people. You know, we're just we're trying to do our best, we're making our lives and we're, we're doing it for our own reasons. So, first quick one, we'll go round and if you can tell the listeners your name, if you want to give your full name, first name, doesn't matter, but also tell them what location in the country you're for because we've had people here from like Aberdeen down to London this week, which is excellent. So, go for it. Name and location. My name's Ian Muldowney uh, and I've travelled from Newcastle. Newcastle. I'm Shona and I've came from Dumfries. Dumfries, fantastic. I'm Laurie Duncan from Falkirk. Brilliant. Eduardo, go for it, mate. 
Hello Anson from London. From London. Eddie Rooney, Lanark. Declan Rooney, also Lanark. No way, you're just up the road to me, used to guys. I'm a killer boy. Oh, there you go. This is all coming out in day four. There you go. Oh, this could be a problem because Kirlick and Lanark uh, was fierce. That quite there's, a, there's a fierce rivalry here, so uh, we'll call it I might need you to back me up. Uh. <laughs> right, that's cool. We know where we are. Now we want to know the starting point because what I want to do, first of all, I want you to understand what's going on because you just look frazzled. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's got big smiles, but he's also frazzled. He's yeah. been through a war here, which is great. And we'll get, we'll get that peek behind the curtains. But first of all, let's connect you with listeners. Because as I say, there's the, loads of folk get in touch and they say, oh, brilliant show. Or oh, I loved hearing so and so. Or oh, that's magic. And then they'll explain, I listen because I'm fed up in my job in this cubicle and I don't know how to get it proper. Or I have became an accidental landlord with one bite to let just because my mum and dad got me when I was at uni and I don't know what to do. You know, there's loads and loads of listeners who, who have that starting point. So they want to connect with where you are. You might have started, you might be on your journey, you might be thinking about it. Why are you here? What, what's your starting point? Um, I think the starting point really, well, to, to answer your question, mm. I'm here because irrespective of the jobs I've done in the past, and I, and I was employed by a company for a long time, um, I've been self-employed for probably three years, it still wasn't enough. Right. That's the truth. I've right. always had this... Uh, I want more. Just a drive. Yeah, a drive, uh, 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 an acknowledgement that I'm capable of so much more than, than, you know, prior to coming here than than I've been doing. Right. Um, Okay, Doc. Involved at all in property at the moment? Um, On a a very, very sort of um, diluted scale. Right. You know, I'm I'm currently, or I was, a self employed gas engineer. So, yes, I've been in and around properties. You know, I I know what a property looks like when it's been ripped apart and the floors are up. I've seen all that. But aside from that, not really. Um, for me, I'm very much a all in or all out type of person. Right. I don't have a plan B. I don't have savings. I don't have money backed up. Right. My back is well and truly against the wall. But it's against the wall because I've chosen for it to be like that. Sure. You know, I've, I've put myself in this position and I face huge objection, okay, you know, from, okay. from various people. Um, but I am where I am because I want to be here. Right. I believe 100% that. I'll take that. I don't believe. I know one hundred percent that this is this is going to be the work and this is going to be the making of me. Excellent. So if I pick dry for Ian, Sean, we've had a couple of chats. Is it safe to say independence would be one of your buzzwords? Yes. Is that a thing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Definitely. what's what's your kind of history, starting point, career? Where are you? Um, so I'm a barber just now, um, mm. and I really just want to be like dependent on myself. Um, be less dependent on my parents <laughs> um, and stand on my own two feet really and build my own build my own business up um, and do what I want to do yeah and nothing in property at the moment at all nothing you're here nope. to learn yes that's cool learn. that's cool bit different for yourself Laurie am I right yeah I got yep. involved in property back in 2000 and I think it was 12 right where we bought our first bite of light right. and um you know, we've, we've got three bite lets that we've been running privately for the last kind of eight years or so. Uh-huh. Um, but I've, I've just managed them myself. I've not really done much with them. Very basic level, you know. Sure. Um, but I really wanted to do a couple of things. I, I wanted to expand the portfolio. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was kind of put off by the new legislation, the Clause 24 and all that jazz. Yes, um, of which led me down the path of exploring other avenues and all this kind of jazz, uh, this, this kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Um, but also, I'm looking for a change in career. You know, I'm currently employed. Right. Um, I want, I've want. i always wanted to be self-employed uh, or, or a business owner or, or whatever you want to call it. But um, property's just always been an attractive thing for me. You know, some, some of the guys talk about not being... Uh, not having a passion for the bricks and mortar or, or whatever, you know. Yeah. I feel like I do. <laughs> but I don't know I don't know why. I don't you know don't why. why. I'm just attracted to it, you know. Okay. Um, There's a passion there then. Yeah, Aye. yeah. Good. And um so really I wanted to expand the portfolio and I wanted to learn how to do that properly, you know. And mm-hmm. and you see all this stuff on LinkedIn and I was just too curious to not come and investigate this further, you know. Right. And I, I went to the Jumpstart Live event in Glasgow in November. Ah, right, okay. And that was your taster then, was that it? That was the taster. Before that, honestly, I thought it was a total scam. Ah, there you go. I just, good. That's good. Honest. I just, honest. I, yeah, because Aye. I just, I couldn't believe that everything we've learned in this four-day event, I just, I couldn't believe that it would be possible. You right. Know? 
Um, so I went along to the Jumpstart live event. You hear the stories, the backgrounds from Paul and Billy. You know they've been to hell and back, and you know they've they've done so well for themselves. Young guys, normal guys, really nice guys. You know, and uh, that was what sold it to me. You know, I had to come and prodigy after that. I just had to do it. Probably. And uh, you know, I thought I was getting value even just out of the Jumpstart documents that you get when you join up to prodigy and the source and stuff and all the rest of the jazz that's on there. Right. But this last four days. Yeah, I'll I hold mean, you in that. I want to hear uh, about that. Okay. Don't go all too right, far. All right, all right, Hopefully, yeah. you've turned around for the. Oh, this is a scam. Hopefully, oh, I'm going to have to somehow cut you in this 110%, podcast. 110%. 110%. <laughs> yeah, 110. Brilliant. Yeah. Now, our poor exotic friend, shivering in the corner there, <laughs> stu- stuck at the door with that Glasgow wind and rain coming in. What's your starting point? Why are you here? Well, uh, similar to, to what we, Laurie was saying, in a, in a sense that the, the course has really fulfilled my expectations. You know, I. I work in property, but I, I, I just wanted to get something more and really find something that could enable me sort of to get on my on my on my two feet for yourself. Right? But then so I thought, property is from an employment status. From an, it? Yeah, right. from an employment status. Okay, and what are you doing at the moment? What is that? So I do valuations and right. sort of capital markets, but on the commercial front. Right. Okay, dogs. But then I thought, well, I, w- I also you know want to do something that's more entrepreneurial. Mm-hmm. But then I thought, oh wait, but you know, I don't quite know how to go about it. You know, I don't have the know-how. Right, all the information. The and, it, and it's not, and it, it's it is about the hard skills, but it's also so much about the soft skills. You know, how do you, how you posture yourself, how you can negotiate with people, and how you can sort of, you know, we we're talking a lot about sort of looking the part even before you achieve results, and I think that plays a you know a huge deal. So, you know, the, the course comes along and, uh, you know, I initially sort of hugely sceptical, mm-hmm. but uh, good, good. It's, it's really fulfilled, you know, my expectations in terms of the kind of steps, you know, moving forward, yeah. which I think is, is very important. I mean, you, at the end of the day, you can have all the vision you want, but, you know, you you have to have a game plan, you know, yes. no, no so matter how had, small uh, that might be. It's safe to say you had the destination in mind, but you never had the map to get there, is yeah, it that way? And I, yeah, but even at, yeah, not not even the destination, because my destination was very vague. Right, and I think okay. unless you get given sort of a clear indication from people who are more experienced than, than you yep. of what is possible, right. you can't really define that destination. But uh-huh. you know, it's also been useful in that respect, defining my oh, destination yeah. and also giving me the, the, the you know the, the steps for the next you know the next chapter, next, the next yeah, journey, the next, chapter, next step. Yeah. Brilliant. So Team Rooney, the father and son team, <laughs> this this power duo yeah. uh, that I'm shocked to hear has came from Lanark because I've been so impressed by you. Yeah. <laughs> He's <laughs> a couple of days. Why are you guys here? Well, primarily because Declan, he was a driving force. Right. Uh, I I've been quite fortunate. I've been quite successful. I have a good business at the moment. Very similar to what a, a, a LinkedIn post Paul could put on. I think it was last week about being in a plateau. Ah, so, right. so I. I do well, I have a good life, uh-huh. and the family have a good life, and generally we do have a good life. And, and Declan's like, look, we need to do more than just this, you're comfortable now, there's more out there, we can do an awful lot. But we're investing in ourselves, I, I think I mentioned that earlier, so we're investing in our team, team running, right? and that's not going to be that. Love it. Market, <laughs> right? but, but, but it is. But, 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 but we're a very close family, uh, and we work together. My daughter's also a business partner. Right. She unfortunately couldn't make it to the event today, but she will be getting signed up uh, within one of the next events. Brilliant. So uh, Declan was the driving force. Declan uh, was kind of the light. Now, uh, when I say he's a young man, he is a young man, he's just turned 21 there. Uh, he has my financial advisor, and even though I am a, a businessman for a long time, so very skeptical. And the boys have said that as well. I was extremely skeptical. Of, Excellent. Of, this of, is of, good. Of everything. Real stuff. And I'm saying to myself, well, I, I've got a good lifestyle. I drive nice cars. I've got a lovely house. The, the family are happy. Yeah. So what's the problem? <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, so we're not in property, albeit I'm in kind of project management, construction. I've been for a long time. Right. So I, I, I've been dealing with making money for all the blue chip companies, uh-huh. all their headquarters, and it's no time for, it's time for us, we need to jump on this bandwagon. So you've been building their success? Yeah, yeah, Aye. yeah, yeah. so, yep. so I'll only be my success has been built as well, but it, it's it's no time for us, right. so uh, for, for us it's ultimately, uh, it's about family wealth, right. and, uh, and not just financially, uh, we're looking on a, a huge picture, uh-huh. so, we, so we talk about the 90 day events, uh, 90 day goals, what you're going to do in a year, 
we're talking about generations here, and, I, and that's the kind of ethos. And I, that was installed. My father's installed that in us. Uh, so, so that's what we're going to do. So we're already thinking about our grandkids, really? and we want to make sure that. And this is a fantastic way to do that. Now, having, as I say, very sceptical at first, then come in, the literature, and we can get through that Fantastic, great programme. Uh, now we need to go and, and do what we need to do. And do it, aye. So, very positive experience. Love it, that's good. Love to hear the background. That's what I want, because they'll be listening. Aye, that's me. Aye, I'm doing okay. I've got my business, I'm such and such. But there's something about properties just gnawing away at them, you know, and they've got this. Yeah. There's something they need to look into, so that's good. Not no, no just property, the boys uh -huh. have actually sold it. You as a team. All right. They, I agree. They, you, you guys have sold it, as I say. I was looking at it and thinking, no. The <laughs> Declan had some dealings with the boys and, and, and a venture way past. Right. So, so strange. Declan had mentioned the guys. I went on my LinkedIn. Uh -huh. There, Billy's on. Right. So immediately, I go on to Billy. I, I, I go on to Billy. Now, believe it or not, and whether he cut this or not, I don't know. There'll not be any swearing. Declan and I were supposed to be at an event in London this weekend. Oh, really? And it was a, I don't know if they're a competitor. Right. Uh, property. Progressive. Oh, I'm not going to mention them. Right? Ah, pretty, no, it's fine. Right. Ah, we're all here. We don't have any fears about. So we were meant to be there. People are bad mouthing them or anything at all. No, 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 no bad <laughs> mouthing. Ah, totally. We were meant to be there this weekend at a free event, and then we thought, no, nah, this isn't for us. And, right. then, uh, and thankfully, you guys managed to squeeze us in. We are literally in here at the 11th hour. Brilliant. We basically signed up last week. Ah, that's excellent. Yeah. It's, I think um, when it comes to things, like, I, I find myself in that place that you resonate with something or you resonate with somebody. And for progressive, they did a great job. They help loads and loads of people, and people will go, "Aye, aye, you're speaking my language," and they'll hook it, and that's totally fine because it's a big enough market, big enough country. You know? yeah. Yeah. So, Declan, it's all your fault. Uh, <laughs> you're to blame. Uh, yeah. You grabbed your sceptical da uh, kicking and screaming in here. <laughs> yeah. So we'll use you to segue into talking about what's happened behind the curtains. How are you feeling? We've, we've finished the four days. Paul's wrapped up. How are you feeling? Very, very good. Overload, there's a crowd <laughs> screaming out in capital letters. Right. Um, but very good, a lot of knowledge to take in and process in the next few days and put it into action. Right, excellent. What was the biggest challenge for you, Jermaine? Was there any parts that, oh, you felt anything you were struggling with? Was it the maths? Was it negotiation? Was it speaking? What, what kind of things popped up for you? Probably dealing with other people face to face. Right. Because now that's strange from the guy who was bursting into tears <laughs> During the, during the negotiation role play. Best actor I've seen. <laughs> I, I better assure the listeners that we never reduced them to tears. <laughs> it was a role play. <laughs> but that was aye, that was something you were kind of struggling with. Aye, yeah. That's good to know. Okay, okay. Shona, you loved the public speaking. <laughs> you loved being at the front of the room, didn't you? No. Presentation, you no. want to talk about that? <laughs> Not really. Oh, it was horrible. It was bad. But... You're glad you did it? I got there, yeah. yeah. That was definitely my biggest challenge. Right, okay. I appear very confident, yes. but I'm really not. And then you jump through the hoops when they yeah, came. That's the thing. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Laurie, what was your challenge? It was the oh, toughest bit for you, but muddle through. Um, um, I don't know, I oh, think I've said the... Aye. Ian, you get anything well am I thinking? I have, yeah. yeah. Um, I think forcing yourself to take a long, hard look in the mirror. Actually, oh, right, right. You know, the numbers and, and all that stuff is one is one thing. Yes. Um, the 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 you aspect, the the who are you? Right. What are you actually doing? You know, at, at the end of the day, you can't hide from your reflection in the mirror. And and you know, when you're looking in the mirror and you're looking at who you are and what you're doing and what you're doing it for, it, it's it's got to be for the for the right reasons. And if if you know. I know fine well that I was hiding away. Ah, uh, really? Not, not from you. I mean, I, you no, know, no. hiding no. away from your reflection almost. Yes, you know, got I, you. I, I don't. I, I don't mind saying that. <laughs> um, I'm amongst people here who won't judge me. Yeah. And, I, and I, I'm, I'll quite willingly tell you this: for the most of my adult life, I've suffered quite heavily from depression. Ah, right. There you go. Uh huh. Um, this is a, an absolutely pivotal turning point. Is it? I knew after the first day. When I looked in the mirror again, uh -huh. the things were going to be different. Uh -huh. I did the video on LinkedIn. Yes, that's straight right. You're talking after. to us about that. Yeah. And that is that is kind of, I suppose, started 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 the the U turn. Right. So I mean believe me when I tell you, it's had a profound effect. That's brilliant. Profound Thanks effect. for sharing that. I like that, Laurie. You know the hoops yeah, that you I jumped through. I think like it's it wasn't necessarily anything to do with the 
the kind of course content as such. Uh -huh. It was more so like about moving forward with the social media thing. Right. I've, right. I've never even used social media. You know, sure. I've got a LinkedIn profile. I never use it. You know, I've got a Facebook thing. And I just joined Instagram the other night because apparently we're going to be using it. You know, the and <laughs> but the, like Ian said, you know, but posting the videos and stuff—that's that's totally alien to me. You know, right. I've never even used the media. I never mind posting videos or content yeah. or whatever else. You know, uh -huh. um, so I'm, you know, I'm really quite kind of well, you know, unsure about that. I suppose, and I'm, I'm still employed just now. Yeah. So I can't go out and start doing this yet. In my eyes, maybe I can, maybe I can't, you know, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> but, understanding it, it, but I understand uh, the value, you know, and I yes. can see where, I can see how powerful it can be. Yeah. Um, but that's a completely new experience for me altogether. Oh. That, you know. In fact, Mr. Rooney sitting in the corner, that's something you picked on, wasn't it? Was it you who mentioned one day you thought long and weary that LinkedIn was where you put your CV? Well, that, that's and what And then I'm you had your that. eyes open to you or something, is that right? Yeah, was yeah. it you? Well, the, the content, the voice was totally different, so. I suppose that in, in some respect they are selling the self for the business and, and the, the idea, but not in the way most other people do. So most other people are in there looking for jobs, aren't they? I mean, exactly. Yeah. But the, the boys have kind of uh, 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 turned that on its head. Yeah. Uh, and, and stuff and content. There's, by Christ, there's a lot of content. I mean, they're, <laughs> they are busy, uh, which is good because they're in the in the public domain and in the public mind. So so I will definitely have to look at changing uh, the kind of format in, in, in my profile. Uh -huh. I, I don't need to worry about being employed or not employed. No, so, exactly. Uh, so, uh, so was there other hoops for you that you kind of, oh, this is my test here. Did you feel through the course there was a no, particular section that was no, challenging? See, I, I, if I was brutally honest, my biggest test was coming here. That was just it. In the right. oh, so, so with regard to everything you're saying the rest, I realise a challenge. You know what I mean? So, they're kind of family. We've got two mortals, but one I can't see on air. Uh -oh. uh, and, and, and the other one is, is be comfortable being uncomfortable. Brilliant. That's, and that's the kind of, that's the way we kind of live a life. Like it. Uh, and uh, uh, that pulls us through a lot of difficult times, you know. So, uh, so I, I came here, that was a challenge. The next challenge, it's not going to be how many properties I get, what's my turnover going to be. My biggest challenge now is going to be, do I shelve a successful business? Mm. Then that business is me. It's not a, a I'm trading as me, so it's, it's my services. Do I shelve that uh, and go into property uh, full time? Well, the answer is yes, I will. At what time? Well, Declan and I will have a wee board meeting. Plan all uh, that out. And we'll, uh, we'll decide on that. Uh, that's, that's, that's something for the family to decide. Ah, brilliant. For yourself, Eduardo, the biggest challenge, the biggest, oh, I'm not sure about this one. Was there a particular section in the course that was tough for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, so many, so many challenging things, I would say. Yeah. Um, I think sort of one of one of the hurdles is definitely to to get your your name out there and to to build up your network. Right. Whether that might be you know from the the vendor front or the investor front. So um, challenge in terms of you know building yourself being educated and being able to educate other people uh -huh. in a sort of in a in, in a clear in a clear manner mm -hmm. and you know spotting the opportunities you know mm -hmm. there's there's no point bombarding people with lessons if 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 you if you don't realize if you don't figure out what they what they want first from from you gotcha. and, I, and I can I, help them yeah yeah and like that's sort it. of one of the other lessons you know we we were doing a lot of a lot of uh public speaking and uh, uh, and we were sort of confronting one another you know um, sort of running past different different scenarios and yeah you know I, I would constantly be talking but rarely would I sort of listen first to what the person actually wanted ah, you know? see, yep, yep. Uh, but it's, it's changing you know with good with a, with a bit of practice ah, good on you so apart from the stuff we were poking and prodding you and deliberately making you feel uncomfortable what did you enjoy what was the, the bits you were happy with had all some fun with all of it, it. <laughs> the, the <laughs> whole <laughs> thing even the bits that, that were uncomfortable uh -huh. you know, you designed it to be like that. Yeah, it didn't happen by accident. Let's be fair. I did give you one minute. <laughs> you one you minute did tell us that on the first day. To be fair, um, I think I think for me the the actual it's the behind the behind the scenes thing. What a comment somebody made to me before I came here was if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And I think there's a, a there's a misconception of you know simple and easy. Yes, different things. Uh, they're, 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 to that. they're totally different things. Yes, and everybody's not doing it because everybody now 
doesn't have the knowledge uh -huh. that we do. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So if you think of the bits you enjoyed the most, Shona, for yourself, what would that have been? I actually loved the role play today. Oh, the negotiating yeah, role plays, really right? Yeah, good. Excellent, uh -huh. excellent. Um, and finding out all the different ways things come together, and then you just sit there like, oh, that's actually really sensible. <laughs> actually, it was making sense, you yeah. were light bulb moments, yeah, right? Uh -huh. Ah, good, and it, good. it makes things, yeah. Excellent. Easier. Like it. Mm -hmm. Laurie, yourself? Oh, I mean, honestly, absolutely everything. Uh, I, I think the, the detail of what you teach is just incredible, you know? All these different strategies and so much stuff. Like I say, you know, I had three bite of lets that I knew everything. You know, Aye, that's right. And you come in here and you're like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just, oh, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say that the level of detail uh -huh. that you go into um, on the content. Yeah. yeah. Were you impressed with Mr McKenna when he popped in? He'd done a great wee guest spot when he was talking about the land development deals and stuff. Is that something that interests you? Opened your eyes? I think that you... was more kind of light bulb moment. Oh, was it? Yeah, that was your big, right? I thought, well, you know what, that's, that's the bite the cherry I'm on. So ah. That's what I'm on to be. Uh, well, it's certainly put you time back to what you were saying about generational wealth. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's an area to, that, to that, capture it. That, that's, that, that was my, that was the light switch one then. Ah. The light switch for me, so that, Yes, very interested in everything else. Aye. Uh, but that was more kind of long term for, uh -huh. for the, the, the other members of the family as well. But when I saw that, then I thought, no, this is, this is us. Brilliant. This is me. I'm here. I'm in this. That's good. So. And if we jump over to son, what was it for yourself? What was the bit you enjoyed? Um, Stuck out for your whatever. The negotiations probably. I quite like pretending to be an out of luck candy floss salesman <laughs> and telling somebody that my two guinea pigs are going to be homeless. Oh my and god. Crying in front of a whole room of people. <laughs> Did poor G manage to help you? Did he solve your problems? Did he get a deal? Yeah, but I got a cracking deal. Oh, <laughs> right. that's all we need. At the end of the day, that's all we need. I think he's going for some therapy as well. <laughs> <laughs> well I think we're all up. <laughs> With yourself, Eduardo, what was the kind of bit you enjoyed, the bit that stuck out? Um, for me, is I, I really, I really love when when people sort of back, uh, you know, their their lesson with with a with a good story, you know, and there's you know there's been plenty of stories flying around, you know, uh, Billy and and Paul have done you know a great job at sort of really tracing back their origins, mm. so that we could really get a full picture of 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 why they're doing what they're doing, you know, what, a particular focus of Paul was. Was uh, you know financial education, yeah. which which I which I totally agree with. You know, there's uh, there's there's the, I always feel like the the um, the the the, the, uh, the university the universities have kind of lost their edge with 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 time. Like there should be sort of more education about sort of how to how to manage your finances, or how, to, how to create things. your own business, or uh -huh. how to how to think like like an entrepreneur. Right. So okay. you know to hear these stories and to see them sort of pursue uh, these 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 powerful agendas to change the education to change. To change you know the the, the the younger generation is it's very inspiring. Yeah, their why, their purpose, their, why, their, their purpose. Yeah, 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 I mean that's that's the thing that keeps our fire going. Yeah, absolutely. Brown, are we all tired? Yeah, and I'm he's, cold. You're cold as hell. Can't always cold. <laughs> You've been moaning since day one about how cold it is. <laughs> are we going to sleep tonight? Oh, definitely. Uh, yes. Yes. But we're going to start off tomorrow. Hundred percent. Fresh. Get the notes in. Yes. See where we are. With your yeah. podcast. With my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one, obviously. No, 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 another show. Yes. I'll be sitting on, on a plane tomorrow morning listening to this. Oh, tremendous, tremendous. <laughs> Not this one, but yours. Thanks for your time, guys. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks up. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so this is excellent. I have managed to grab aside Mr. Paul McFadden, one of the directors of ALG, and to be honest, the main man in what has been the property protege event uh, that I've just been discussing with a, a lovely group of the students. Paul, what a session, what a group, what a four days that's been. Uh, I mean, for you, looking back on those four days that have just passed, how do you feel? Was it a good one? Were you impressed with the group? How do you feel? Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty full on, you know. I mean, you'll know yourself, four full days where it's just been high energy. We've yeah. got a great group here. I'm, I'm really excited for them, genuinely really excited. And normally, like when I do this kind of closing speech that we just had, 
I dare, you know, I'm, I'm never good at closing speeches because <laughs> today, right now, kind of signifies, you know, working with us over the next 12 months. And what's really got me excited about this group is that the questions I've been asking, the interaction, playing all out, I mean, truly going all out with everything that we throw at them over the last few days. And it's been great to see. And if they really tap into this, they go out and apply what they've been learning. I mean, truly, lives will be changed, not just financially, but personally as well. And this is why, you know, at this stage here, after full on four days, I don't do these big goodbyes because really, it's the start of a journey, you know? Exactly. It's this, this intensive, this Kickstarter, as we call it for them. It must, it must take it out of you, mentally, physically, emotionally, because... They are long, long days, and and I know you you've structured it in a way through you know months and months and months of doing this inside a year, and then you do it again for the next year, and you tweak it and you change it. So we'll have this section here, and then Richard, can you come in and do a week in a game session with them to enhance their memory skills? But when you're up, you're up for hours on end, and then you know things like breaks, coffee breaks and stuff just seem to disappear. And you're, right, come on, come on, we need to come back, come back quickly because I'm going to do negotiation now and I'm, I want to cover raising finance now. Come on guys, we're here to work. After it, does it drain you? I mean, how do you feel at the end of it, those days after it when you return to your family and you're, you know, you're, trying to, you're still trying to stay at your optimum level? Do you feel the, the strain, the stress? Well, well, right now, I'm starting to feel that bit of a, a come down if you want to put it that way. You know, it has been high energy for Mm -hmm. sure. And towards the end of today, the last day is where the last couple of hours I start to feel it. Because I know, I mean, we've done, got to so many events, you know, it's been a lot that we've been doing. So my body just kicks in to realize (laughs) we're coming to an end. And I think it's more mentally rather than physical because you're, you're getting questions thrown at you constantly you know you're, you're always having to think you come up with creative ways of doing stuff and this group really have got me thinking with a lot of the questions oh but 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 truly i know but truly the, the thing is with with protege events is that i actually love them I, I get so excited and i've been saying this to the group like wednesday night i, I couldn't sleep I literally couldn't sleep with excitement thinking about turning up for the Protege event. Mm. And day one's always exciting in the sense of we're getting to, sure, I've spoken to them all at some stage. You know, I see them in the groups and stuff. But this is me actually meeting them in person. And it's exciting. I'm looking forward to getting to know people. And, you know, day one's a long day because we take them out in the evening. So we had a, a nice meal and it was good to get to know them a little bit outside the classroom environment. And I think having that meal on the first night, it really does allow them to feel like they can come out of their shells a little bit. And that's why from day two, it just starts to flow with the questions. Everyone is as if they've known each other forever. That's why there's long lasting relationships that are built from that the groups just attending events. That's why business is done with one another. That's why business partners are formed. It's exciting to see what happened just within the group with one another. Mm. But truly, I mean, even even Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, last night, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. Honestly, broken sleep with excitement. And now it's just this whole whole you know adren- or adrenaline just dump at the moment right now, starting to to come towards the end where I know Tonight, I'll go in, get a good night's sleep, and then the <laughs> next day, we get back to it. You know, it's still a full on day, business still goes on. When you're trying to, to move mountains and, and achieve big things, you know, tomorrow's just another day. We need to get back at it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, the, the word questions, I think that's my takeaway from this particular group. Uh, that's the group uh, I've found the most questions been asked. They seem to be really up for fully understanding everything. You know, each section, there was questions at the end of it. Uh, I don't know if you felt the same. But really wanting to get it for themselves. One of the things we always say is that by the end of day four, our Kickstarter event, the four-day event, is that we want to make sure that you've got a clear and focused plan. Mm -hmm. So that will be formed by spending four days with them. But we also want to make sure all their questions are answered and this group, we're asking a lot of questions, but we got there in the end. We got all the questions answered, so that was good. And that's why people get a running start. You know, that they're not left there with having to go and find more things out. 
They've got the support group, of course, to tap into ongoing, but they're really, they're, they're ready to go. They're ready to hit the ground sprinting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, listen, uh, I want to be respectful for your time. Uh, I suppose I've got one kind of question left that's burning away with me. For people who have been listening to the podcast for a long, long time, and they've heard me talking about Protégé, and to be honest, this is why I actually decided to put this show together. Because I keep getting emails and questions, you, know, you mentioned Protégé, you mentioned this thing, what, what, what is it, what are you talking about, is it another course, is it such and such, and they want more details. So of course I can you know, put them to the website, you know, propertyprotégé.com, that's fine. But what I wanted to do, and I was so glad I did it, was grabbed a group of real people from this course and get them to talk in their own words. You know, why are you here? What's your starting point? What are you trying to achieve? What's your personal life? Whereabouts in the country do you come from? And, you know, there was people there from Aberdeen down to London. It was was fantastic to see. And they're telling their own stories. And then they also, in their own words, were talking about how they felt. What was the hard bits? What was the challenges? What was the fun bits? What was exciting? What surprised them? You know, so it's it's been great hearing their words. But for you, if someone's listening in and they, you know they hear about protege, what is it that protege can do for someone? If someone's interested in getting into the property game, they want to know about property investing. What can pro, what can protege do for them in your mind? Richard, before I answer that, I'm actually mm-hmm. glad that you came up with this idea to do this because it's all well and good for Richard Swan to talk about property protege, Paul McFadden or any of the ALG team to talk about property protege. Of course, we're going to say good things. Of course, you know, it's, it's our baby. It's, you know, I love this. I love what we do. I love that we change people's lives, not just financially. A lot of people forget that there's a whole different side to this other than just making the money, sure. That's what people want, but there's a bigger you know, game at play here in terms of changing people in all areas of their life. And hearing from the whole group, it's great. Sure, we've got the, the, the propertyprotege.com website where there's close to 100 testimonials, you know, where people can go in and check out and listen to real people. But what I love is that you're doing this because truly people get to listen to the voice and hear their experience and what they got out, got out of it all. So, so brilliant, I'm glad you've done this. For, for me, listen, when you're passionate about something that you do and you know that it gets results, hands down, no question, the results have been proven, it's there to be seen. You know, people fly out the gates, some people within the first few weeks start banking money, start doing deals, you know, and there's others who are maybe not as fast out the gate, but they're still making progress, they're still tapping it in the support, and they still get results. And because of this, and because of what we've created, what we've set up for people to really take full advantage of this, I I can't stop shouting about it. That's why I'm so passionate about talking about property protege. And I'm glad that you've put this together and you're hearing everyone else's voices. But truly, it it, it honestly doesn't matter where you're at in your journey. We've got people who have got no experience whatsoever to, you know, seasoned pros who have got big portfolios, who have got, you know, full-time property businesses. It's, it's irrelevant. It's just depending on where you're starting and then we take you to that next level, whether that's just getting started or whether that's just further enhancing the business you already have. And it is a roller coaster. the four days. You know, it will get you clear. It's more than just an education in property. It's really understanding the whole business mechanics. It's understanding how you actually create predictable cash flow. It's understanding the other stuff about how you actually source and find the deals. It's more important about how you actually fund and raise the finance for the deals, amongst a whole bunch of other things as well. And we throw the experiential stuff in there as well to really help people get that experience, that real-time experience, so when they go out there in the world of property, it's second nature to them because they've had this fast track of just everything being condensed into four days that they feel equipped, they feel ready, their mindset is just totally shifted. What they thought was possible is just now gone way beyond what they even thought they could even achieve in the first place or whatever they were hoping to achieve. Now their goals and everything's been expanded. It's just amazing to see the transformation in people just over the four days, let alone what we see over three months, six months, and a year and beyond. So, I mean, Property Protege, for me, is a phenomenal program for someone who wants the, to really get the key understandings on how to not only have a business, but to bring in the cash flow, to raise the funds, to build something sustainable that will truly 
be, you know, a legacy for them if they're working this for long term and property, you know, you're in this for the long term if you're doing it right. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I could talk all, 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 I could talk forever, <laughs> Richard. I really can, you know. <laughs> Tremendous. Well, I'm going to let this man get back to some business. Paul, thanks a million for your time. Really appreciate it. Take Pleasure. care. Thanks, Richard. Hi, folks. It's Richard here again. I really hope that you enjoyed today's show. Now listen, I've got two links to help support you on your property journey and I want you to write these down when it's safe to do so. You might be driving in your car just now listening to the podcast and that's fine, but please make sure that you get back to this and write down these links. Okay, are you ready? Got your pen in hand? So the first one, thisweekinproperty.com Now that's the website for this podcast. On there, make sure you subscribe to the podcast so that you don't miss out. What you can also do on there is catch up on tons and tons of past episodes. There are hours and hours of property-related content and some amazing guests with some fantastic insights to help you on your property journey. So that is this week in property.com. Okay, next link, propertyprotege.com. Let me spell that one out for you. P-R-O-P-E-R-T-Y P-R-O-T-E-G-E That's propertyprotege.com Now what's it all about? Well the Property Protege Intensive is designed to give you the lift that you need into the world of property. And if you've already started, if you've already got some experience, then this can help you accelerate your progress even further. The experiences that people have had at Protégé and the success that they've achieved afterwards has been life-changing for many people. So go there right now if you're serious about property and if you want to build a highly successful property business. That's propertyprotégé.com So there you go. That's two links to some fantastic resources that are going to help you. And listen, talking about help, can you help me to help other people. You see, the more that we can share this podcast, then more people can learn from the fantastic guests that I've been so lucky to talk to. How can you help? Well, it's very simple and very quick. Just a short review on iTunes is going to help make that happen. If you go to thisweekinproperty.com forward slash iTunes, that will guide you to the very place that you will be able to help other people. So thank you. Thanks for doing that. And thanks for listening into the show. And I look forward to bringing another great guest to you in the next show.